Welcome back to the Chanel YouTube family. How you doing today? We're back in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So, what I thought I would do today is, for all you people that have only just recently started playing the game, I would go and infiltrate a base and show you how I approach it. Give you a whole lot of little tips about who's who in the zoo, what to hit first, how to be strategic, what your weapons should be, all that good stuff. I hope it's going to help all you new players. Let's do this! So I was watching some friends of the channel playing uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint uh, for pretty much the first time the other day and it sort of took me back to the fact that I've just got used to playing this game and there's lots of stuff that I just take for granted that uh, I do in the game and um, when you're first starting it, it might not be fully um, obvious how to do this. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how I set up for a mission then we're going to go and um, uh, raid a little base and I'll take you through step by step exactly what, how I approach a base, what I'm looking for, gun setup, everything that you're going to need um, early in the game just to get started. So we're here in the bivouac and one of the first things I would say is make sure you go to the garage and choose your helicopter as your default um, vehicle now if you prefer to drive around the place of course you can pick motorbikes or four-wheel drives but um my suggestion is have the helicopter selected and um, you should get some vehicles by default so that's the first thing second thing to do is go to your preparations tab and pick one of these these are for free so you can have increased accuracy maybe at the start of the game that might be good for you but however whatever you feel is advantageous for you i generally go for xp gain only because it just gives me a boost in my xp um over time so go through this little anim animation and then it gives you an xp boost for about an hour so that's quite nice 60 minutes there you go um Coming to the bivouac, it will refill your ammunition, um, so you're ready to go in that sense. Um, now, this uh, these tips are based on whether you're playing solo or with a squad, so it really doesn't matter. So, the next thing, I, I'll, how I set up is, as far as my loadout goes, I have, generally, I have a silenced ranged weapon, which in this uh, particular instance is the TAC-50, any sniper or marksman rifle will do and then i have a unsilenced weapon as my pro as my primary um and the reason i do that is if i get detected i don't really it doesn't really matter whether you're silenced or not and i want maximum damage on that primary weapon to get me out of um out of trouble so that's pretty much how i set up um for starting just remember that by default your grenades are going to be on in your um in your wheel and we'll get out of this and we'll show i'll show you what i mean there's a little drone sitting there i know what that's doing there anyway um so i use right bumper to bring the wheel up um, and as you can see the frag grenade is default now Possibly what you might want to consider is choosing the syringes. Because if you go down, um, then you want to quickly stim yourself. Now, the other thing to know is know this how this wheel works as well. And know that you have to press right bumper. This I'm on uh, Xbox. And then you're going to have to press Y to order your team. So know where everything is, get ready. Um, I'm just going to make sure that this is in fact silenced, unsilenced, which it is. Um, and I'm just going to check and you can see my sniper is silenced. 
So we're ready to go. Um, one of the reasons that you go to the bivouac, of course, is to make sure that your vehicle of choice spawns in. So even if you do nothing at the bivouac, make sure you go through, activate the bivouac and then come out of it and it will spawn your vehicle for you right there or fairly close. So we're going to hop in the helicopter. Okay, so we're pretty well kitted up, ready to go. Um, we found a base then, so I'll show you where we are. We're not too far from Erewhon actually here. So you can use this to, to practice if you like. Um, I'll show you where we are on the map. So Erewhon is right there. We're virtually, what's that, northeast. And there's a few weapons and a blueprint for an SC-20K in this facility here. So first thing I'd do is just get a reasonably good position on the overwatch but get as close as possible so you're not going to be spotted like this. Bring up that. So you can see there's lots and lots of red dots on the, on the map. And the first thing I'd do is just put up your drone. Now, of course, with this, do the 360. See if there's any areas that you haven't detected yet, because that's just free XP like that. Sure you do this every time you come to a new area. Free XP is good and it opens up the map and makes life a lot easier to get around. So once you've done that, we're just going to start scanning on the top side of the this facility. Just see if there's anybody around in this top side of the facility, which it looks like there's not, which is good. And now you're going to start identifying each of your enemies. Now, I will talk you through the different enemies. So that guy there is a sniper. So I would suggest you want to take those guys out pretty quickly. There's another sniper there. And the more you look, let me tell you, the more people you're going to start finding all over the place. Now, spend some time just scanning around. You are going to miss people, I guarantee it. Um, there's going to be more people in the base than you think there is. And um, yeah, you're going to have to do multiple scans to pick them all up because some of them will be hiding. So once you've done the initial one, now make sure you're picking up these people with the eyes on their heads because that will give you all kinds of great information about... Um, New um, new weapon blueprints, bivouac um, locations, attachment locations, etc. So, okay, once you're happy with that, and you uh, now look on the mini map. You can see on the mini map that there are a number of triangles, but there's a number of red dots. That means that you haven't got everybody identified. So, if that's if you've got all kind of um, little triangles and all red, more red. Then you've got you've marked everybody. If it's still got patches of red, then there's still a lot of people to to think. Now, that is a um, rocket launcher bombardment um, duvalaki. You can kill that. You can take that out for sure, but it'll make a huge noise and it'll get you to detect it. So, up to you if you want to do that straight up or at some point because that's going to um, that is going to do you some damage, but just be aware that that's a thing. You should also be able to detect, that looks like it's the electrical, no, that's the gate, there should be an electrical power uh, station. Oh, there's a heavy. See this guy with the shield above his head, he's a heavy now. To kill him, you're gonna have to headshot him once, and you'll hear a ting, and we'll do that during this playthrough. And then you're going to have to shoot him the second time to kill him. You've got to get his helmet off to kill him first. So this guy is a breacher. He's close quarters. He can do a little bit more damage than normal guys. The guy that you really want to find very quickly and kill is the guy with the little speaker icon above his head. Um, and we haven't found him yet. There's another heavy there. So you can see my initial scan, I thought I'd got everybody. I hadn't got even close to everybody. So, okay, so once you're ready to go, 
exit out of that and get your long range weapon. This is how I suggest you do it to start with. We're going to take the snipers out first. Aim for their head and he's down and nobody heard a thing. Okay, these two guys are going to be a little bit more tricky. So this is where you can employ your um, your squad mates if you like. Now, if you're going to uh, employ squad mates, hover over the the player, the enemy you want to kill. Press the sync button and wait until that letter above his head is fully um, uh, stops spinning. And then you can either assign that to another teammate or you can make the shot yourself. Like that, there you go. Two in one. Somebody heard that or witnessed that or something, but they're still all white. So that's good. They haven't detected you. And so you can just sit back here and pick off various people. Now, you have to be a little bit strategic though. You have to be thinking about what part, whether you want to maybe clear this part of the facility and work your way that way, or whether you want to work your way from the top down, but be aware that if you kill somebody, there's a possibility that that body might be found or the kill might be seen. So you just got to take your time and work through and figure out what is the best kills to do when. And um, now we're going to hop down a little now. Hmm. Hopping down is going to be a bit tricky because you see there's all these kind of it's quite a drop so we're looking for something that's going to cushion our fall otherwise you're going to get fall damage that's that might actually work there and hop down there yeah it's not too bad okay that worked perfectly perfectly okay so now i see another sniper here which i didn't really see before so I want you want to take these guys out because these guys will do you significant give you significant problems if you don't take them down so snipers are all down for now I'm going to hop down a little bit further and then I'm going to go up onto this framework here and I'm going to chuck the drone up again now I can hear people I can hear people um, around the place and it really just is a methodical approach to everything. If you hear voices and it's getting closer, that means that there are enemies close. Keep an eye on that mini map. Make sure you're checking it regularly. I'm going to duck behind cover here and I'm going to put the drone up once more because there's still some red dots that I've got to identify. Now, one of the things that concerns me, is there anybody, this would be a good entry point actually from here, where you could actually kill those guys and enter the, the base. So you're looking for your spot to get into the base. These things are chests, so generally there's weapons or gear, some kind of gear in those. And there'll be a number of those around the map. Now, I'll show you in a second what's all available in this particular little base by bringing up the map but there are some significant there's still some some significant there's a guy bad guys around because i can see the reds there's another guy sitting there see so we quite, we pretty much identified everything at the front of this base so just keep working your way down I would say there's a few people inside. Now, you'll be limited at the start of the game how, mu how much you can see because the, this uh, drone has a, has a limit on its range and how long it will stay up for. There's a whole lot of people kind of in this building here, I think. Yep, there they are. That is the captain. That guy with the three stripes above his head. And for some reason, I haven't seen the, the guy with the um, speaker icon above his head yet, which is kind of worrying. 
because the guy with the speaker icon will bring in reinforcements. So we can hear them talking. You can, I mean, you can fly this right into the right into these buildings if you like. The only problem doing that is you're going to be you're going to be spotted. The drone will be spotted, um, and there's two two levels of alert um, for these guys. One is a uh, um, kind of yellow or orange alert, which means they they know there's somebody around but they can't see you. Red means they've found you. So just be aware that if it all kicks off. That's what those alerts are about. Okay, so let's go and start killing some guys, some enemies, and start reducing the numbers down. You can see we're heavily outgunned. Did he just fall off that? We're heavily outgunned here. So we need to be very smart in how we approach this. I'm sort of tempted with these guys up the top here. To kill them off, but I think, ooh, that's okay. That's not hostile. It's just a large digger. Now I think there's an achievement for killing people with one of those. But anyway, that guy's on his own. So you're looking for guys to start with that are on their own, just like that. Now, see that was dead body was found. So on the mini map, we've suddenly gone yellow. But the, the colour of those icons have not changed to yellow. Now they have. So there's a dead body found. They know we're here, but they don't know where we are. So just move away. Now you can wait this out until they all go back to white. Or my advice is just to reposition like I'm doing now. Because once they find a dead body or once they hear a gunshot, they will kind of sort of target where you are. So if you reposition, it keeps them guessing. There's a piggy, you can shoot those. Like that, if you want. Okay. Just reload. See what we can see. And again, bring up your drone if you need to. Make sure you're in cover when you do this though. To see what's going on. What this will do as well is it will identify everybody in the base for you. So once that once everybody goes yellow, one of the good things to do is, is actually put your drone up and then you can identify the remainder of the people that are around. So I've got a line of sight on anybody at the moment. I'm gonna cross over. Now I'd probably I would have probably stayed up top and picked them off, but for the purposes of this video, I thought I would just do something a bit different to what I would normally do, just to show you how it all works. So I want to show you this heavy. See if we can take him down. But you've got to get a line of sight on these guys. Use your squad mates as much as possible. Where was he? Yeah, these three guys are coming towards us, I think. Yep. There's one there. There's actually a guy fairly close up the top there. Yep. Don't be in a rush to kill anybody. That is my advice. Because... If you are, it can get you into all kinds of problems. I'm going to take this guy out. Look, so what I'm going to do here, wait until you can see the sink shot up in the right hand corner is solid. So that means they're ready to go. I'm going to hit him in the head once and then hit him again. One, you're going to turn around. Two, he's down. And that's how you kill those guys. Shots are heard, so we're going to back at again. Keep low and in cover. And they're going to come looking for us in a certain spot. I was tempted to try and shoot that guy then. There we go. Wait until he comes to you. You 
got to get your shot right because if you don't they'll all go red and they'll come charging at you here you go we're doing okay so far and it's just now rinse and repeat take your time work your way through the whole the whole um, facility just like this and um, you should be pretty successful in clearing the base but it's just a few basics that you need to know patience is by far the biggest asset you've got so now they've gone white because they don't know where we are which is good so you can see by just moving around and I would suggest that you kill everybody first. Don't be tempted to go in and try and, if they're dropping gear or something, don't be tempted to go in and try and grab it. Where is he? I can't see him. If you can't see somebody, just leave them alone. There you go, he's down. That will be witnessed, no doubt. There's a guy. Guy sitting there. And so this is how, at the start of the game, I would approach a base. In fact, this is pretty much how I play most of the time. It's just to take your time, push through, make sure that you've got everybody. Now, the guys with the speakers, you want to get rid of them. Now, you see that? That white little noise and those arrows? That means somebody saw me. Now, if you get away from them or go into cover quick enough, that'll cancel with sell that. If you don't, and again, if you kill those guys quick enough, they won't alert people. So those two guys, I, I wasn't even watching and those guys saw me, so that was my fault. There's the captain. Can we get him? Yeah, we got him. Now that now they know we're here. They're sort of semi you can see it's they, they know we're here now. They're on yellow alert. They're not on what and so oh, yep, they're all gone on yellow alert. This is the time now. See there's the scale guy. He just has extra credits. Don't worry about him. If he he will leave the facility, you can see he's leaving. He's getting out of here. Don't worry about him, it doesn't matter. That just means you get extra money. Yeah, extra scale credits. If you want to hit, get him, target him. If you don't, don't worry about him too much. You're not going to lose anything by not killing him or not getting him. Apart from, obviously, money. You can see I'm using the drone a lot. And what it also helps you with is with that kind of guy who's coming running at me to know that he's running at me and then you can just hide. That heavy's coming down the road here. What you don't want to do is have them above you. And remember, you've got that primary weapon ready in case you have to get into a gunfight. Where is he going? I'm behind the pile. I can't. And you can see I'm got I'm pushing back a fair while. I'm gonna get a little bit of elevation. And then I'm gonna go and start picking people off. This guy's on his own, so he'd be a primary there we go, he's a primary target for us. Missed his head. He's down. Okay, we got him. There you go, got an achievement for that. Don't use your unsilenced weapon until you have to. Is because as soon as you do, it's going to, they're going to know exactly where you are. Although this guy is coming at a rate of knots, so we're going to have to. There you go, got him. Now we've been detected. So they're going to they're going to zero in on our, our location now. So the way to combat that is by changing location, basically, and not being where they expect you to be. There they go, because they're going to come. They're going to come to you pretty quickly. A 
Can I get him from up here? I think I can. Here he comes. He's down. There we go. So those two guys, we've isolated them. There's one more heavy here that we need to, to kill. And then things should settle down again and we should be good. So this is a fairly long video, but I think it's important how you understand how this all works. Where is this guy? You can see I couldn't quite figure out where he was. He's stuck. Oh, he's coming up the hill here. Perfect. He's down. Now, visual detection. Again, I'm going to move away from where he just shot me and keep these guys guessing. Now, if you have a road like this, just be aware that vehicles might come in, um, especially reinforcements. So try and stay off the road as much as possible. Okay, so we are actually going to cut forward in a second. I'm going to give you some additional um, pointers um, after we've cleared this base out. And then we will finish up for the day. So here we are, we've cleaned the base out, but there was a lot of things that we missed during the initial walkthrough. So I just wanted to quickly show you a few things. So if you find a facility with these lights, like that, shoot them out because those will detect your presence and make life a little bit harder. They're the only lights that you can actually shoot at, the ones with the bulbs above them. Um, and I'm just uh, going through and having a look for where everything is now and um, then w walk you through which what everything is. So you would see that there is a box with a little S on the map there. That's scale credits. So we're going to shoot this light out first, just to show you that, that you can do this. There you go. And that's no longer a threat. You can see right in front of us there is um, a box with an S on it, which is scale credits, right there. Just works, works like a normal gear box or weapons box. And um, you generally get a nice little reward. 2,500 scale credits, which is not bad. Not too shabby. Okay, so there's a special box that we came in here for with an F on it, which is generally the blueprints or the special weapons or the special gear. Um, we're going to hop up here though first before we get to that. And um, we'll get these this information here. What's it going to identify for us? So it's going to give us a bivouac location, which is always good. And it will add it to the map. You can press the view if you like. And then we'll get a collectible. Now the collectibles you'll have to go in and, and have a look at. But again, that's a scale excavator, some information on an excavator. So let's go and get our blueprint. And you can always tell those by these special crates with the F on them. They usually have a gun symbol on them. Um, now before we do that, these things here, just to prove that you can kill these, you do this, I'll show you how much noise this makes. This one's got double guns, so you want to take this out quickly. There you go, you see how much noise that makes? So that can alert the enemies to your presence very, very, very quickly. Um, let's have a look at this special crate here. These are not in every facility, they're only the ones where you've got to get weapon blueprints or attachments. So. They're generally very hard to find around the place. Here we go. There's, a, there's our SC20K. Now you have to go into the shop or the bivouac to build that, um, if you don't know already, and then it'll be put it in your inventory. Make sure that you talk to anybody that's got an eye above their head, because they'll identify, usually it's a weapon, a weapon attachment, or a bivouac position, but it could be, it could be a mission. So make sure you do that. And lastly, what I'm going to show you is what the electricity uh, generator looks like. So there it is right in front of us there. 
Just going to look this box and see what treasures we get. What's it, what's it giving us? An RU12SG. Wait until that goes off. Now, if you want to take the power out for the whole facility, shoot the little green box there, and that'll that'll dismantle those uh, uh, rocket um, rocket things. It'll dismantle anything that's electric. So that uh, double robot turret that we took out, it'll dismantle the power to that, and you don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run around and look the rest of this facility. I hope this has been useful for you when you're starting out. I hope it got your it helps get your head around how to approach some of the early um, facilities, what strategies you have to employ, how you have to be equipped, etc. It's how I do it. You you might do it a little bit differently, but at least it will get you started. If you've liked it, the video and you want to see more, leave a like rating down below. Always like reading your comments, so any suggestions for videos, videos for Ghost Recon or anything else, I'm always open to, and we'll catch you next time on the channel. See ya!